Hey everybody! Hello! Welcome back to our channel. Uh, we have a really interesting video to share with you today from mm. South Korea uh, mm. where we go looking for some uh, kind of house shoes and eat at a restaurant but it was kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, you mailed them. Yeah, so we'll have more to share after the video rolls but yeah. Look forward to hearing your thoughts on this one for sure. If you liked the video today, please hit like and subscribe. Mm. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Yeah. So where are we going now? Atmos. Atmos. We're going to see if they have these slippers we keep looking for. But, uh, yeah, where are we? Myeongdong. Yeah, we're back in Myeongdong. We're on a, we're on a hunt. So, we'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye! looking for these slippers and they keep <laughs> evading us. I don't know if just... Uh, yeah, I don't want to just say it, but something okay. tells me they don't exist. Yeah, but we saw them on the people's feet. Yeah, like two people had similar looking slippers. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe the season is gone. Maybe. You know, they sold out. Maybe. I don't know. We're still gonna keep looking, but first, we're gonna have some food. Oh yeah. Lunch time. All right. So, we just went to ABC Mart. Sorry. We just went to ABC Mart. We're able to get our slippers. Yeah, we decided to just go have a shot. Yeah. And uh, we didn't get exactly what we wanted, but we got a similar and a yeah. better even at yeah. some point. <laughs> yeah, very comfortable. Yeah. All right, now let's have lunch. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we doing for lunch? Well, yeah, this is a big old meat restaurant. Uh, if you don't want to put on some rice or the seafood. Uh-huh. Like a combination. Yeah. The meat is cheaper. Let's see. Yeah. And it's right across from Hazy's here in Myeongdong. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Mm. Korean beef skirts, mm. 200 grams. Mm -hmm. And uh, one kimchi chicken. Yeah. Yeah. And the rice. Yeah. I'm really excited. Looks like it's going to be. Good quality Korean beef. Hopefully. Yeah. Definitely seems like a nice restaurant. It's very open. I like that there's not a lot of people here right now. Uh, Yajing and I have been trying to go to the not so crowded restaurants. Um, so let's see what's uh let's see what's going on. So I just went to the restroom very quickly and when I came back all of this was already out here. Bonchon's looking really good here. And they even give you some little octopus, which is really pretty cool. You excited? So yeah, this place seems really nice. Fire. I guess we're just waiting for our grill. But, uh, as Yajun said in our intro video, she said this place looked very, in very cheap, inexpensive, and actually for about fifty thousand won. I'll put the translation up. That's all the beef you get. So, um, yeah, I would say just watch out the grams when you go to the restaurant. It might look cheaper, but they give you far less 
um, than you might be expecting. And I'm sure it will be delicious. We'll share our thoughts with you when we can start grilling. Okay, the lunch is on. Kimchi chicken did come out. Very good. Yeah, very flavorful kimchi chicken. I like your kimchi. Mm. Yeah, the kimchi here is really, really good. Tastes very aged. Okay, my face is hot. My face is hot too. This, uh, this fire. The fire between us. It's definitely fire. <laughs> we have love fire. <laughs> so we're eating the Hanmu beef. The server actually came over and cooked it for us, so it was a little uncomfortable. But. The way how to introduce us. Mm. How to correct Korean way to eat it. Mm. It's good. Yeah. With the rice, with the sauce, mm -hmm. with the garlic, and some veggies, and the onions. Oh, yeah. Uh, it just feels like so many stuff in the mouth at the same time. Yeah. It's so cool. So delicious. Oh. Samida. Yeah. Oh, Samida. So I definitely burned my nails really badly with the kimchi chige. It kind of, while it was boiling, poured out of my mouth onto the lip. So I hope it doesn't leave a mark um, in future videos. The kimchi chige is really delicious here. And yeah, the hanwu beef that we got is also really, really good. It's very pricey here, but they definitely give you really good service, uh, which I think is really awesome. But yeah, just kind of enjoying the rest of the meal, and we'll let you know our final thoughts at the end. Just uh, ate at this place right behind us. Um, what were you, what do you think? Yeah, it's much more expensive than home day. Mm. Yeah, my husband was very worried, mm. but it was not a bad price. Yeah, it, I, I will say. Um, yeah, it was just a little awkward. They definitely, you know, if you're in Korea and you've never had Korean barbecue, this is probably a good place to go. Yeah, because they cook for you. Yeah, and they kind of explain to you how to eat the food. But, yeah, I think for us it was just a little pricey. Yeah. For what you got. You know? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. We it, had a rice and a kimchi chige. Mm -hmm. And the two... 100 grams of the Han Korean book, Kenyan beef skirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it costs us 60,500. Yeah, so I'll put a translation up, but you can definitely get a better deal here. In Hongdae Korea. is much cheaper. Yeah, you can get all you can eat Hanwu beef in Hongdae for like 21,000 21. each. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it was delicious, but we also didn't order more oh. because they in also introduced more meat. Mm -hmm. Let us want to try. Um, feel kind of uncomfortable, mm -hmm. like a little bit pushed, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So I said, uh, kindly said no to her. Yeah, well, she, Ya Jing said, oh, you know, maybe we can wait until we finish our food. And then the woman just took the barbecue like, <laughs> charcoal away. Yeah. So, yeah. It was, awkward. yeah, a little awkward, a little uncomfortable, but, you know, if you're here, you might as well, uh, if you've never had Korean barbecue, maybe give it a try if you want someone to cook for you. Um, but yeah, that's it for us here, and that was our lunch. See you later. Interesting is, yeah, kind of the word for this one. Um, I love our flip-flops. I'll start off with that. Uh, we bought some house shoes super spongy mm -hmm. uh, we, not exactly we want it mm -hmm. but we satisfy with it <laughs> yeah one thing we found in korea and uh i'll, I'll keep this brief but uh ya jing really likes this app uh it's a chinese app that tells you what's hot um and kind of what's hot in different countries yeah then what we learned is what is very popular on the app or online, it doesn't mean in their real life. Maybe because we were tourists to Korea, mm. uh, more difficult to us to find them. Um, but yeah, it, it's not the same story. Yeah, it was really, really sketchy because there was this pair of uh, like house shoes, really squishy house shoes. 
um, and we wanted those. So, uh, so many things on this app saying like, yeah, go here. This is, it's at this location. It's at this location. It's at the, yeah. this location. We went to three different locations that yeah. they said were selling this. Uh, one of them didn't even exist. No. It was just like a totally different business. Mm -hmm. And the other two were shoe stores, but when we went in and asked, um, after looking around extensively, they were like, no, we don't sell those. Yeah, it's very bizarre. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I really glad and <laughs> thankful <laughs> my husband <laughs> went to all the places we can go because mm. to me, I, I really feel bad and we can't find it, you know? Mm. And we go into different locations and try to buy and uh, he's very patient mm. and, uh, you know, go everywhere with me, try to just buy the flip. Yeah, they looked really cool. Like, very cool, We yeah. wanted to find them, mm. but uh, just know that what you read online uh, is really not true. Yeah. Uh, even, you know, like this app, the Red app, um, was like, oh, it's super hot in Korea right now. Everybody so owns it. So many people. Yeah. And I honestly think it was just an item that was mm. being sold online to, yeah, a certain audience. And they were saying it was hot in Korea, but mm. Not really. you couldn't even find them. And it wasn't because they were sold out. Yeah. Nobody was selling these things. Yeah, so. I think for this video, we have so many unique experiences mm -hmm. like this one. So con uh, my conclusion is, if you want it, you like it, buy it online. Yeah. Don't depend on your trip. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I can, I can buy them over there mm -hmm. and maybe cheaper. Mm, just raise this idea on your mind. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't work like that. Yeah, we, we had a lot of experiences um, where even like her family would look online for really cool like products in Korea mm. and we'd go to the stores there mm. looking to buy them actually for her family members mm. and they just didn't exist. So um, and we would go to a lot of stores and everywhere. So many shopping malls. Yeah, like everywhere said the same thing. Yeah. We don't sell that. Like yeah. that doesn't. They don't have that here. Uh, well, we did our best. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. You do, the internet isn't true. You probably know that already though. Um, another thing that wasn't true in this video was the prices um, mm -hmm. on this restaurant. And I was a little hesitant to call this a tourist trap, um, but it is kind of a tourist trap in Myeongdong. Mm, feel this way. Yeah. We walked into this restaurant because yeah, we wanted some Korean barbecue. We were, I remember we just wanted lunch, really. Just a regular lunch. And this place made it seem extremely affordable and like they had so much meat. Yeah, and then you saw they put a so many sign outside to uh, attract you. Mm -hmm. And just like the combinations and very low affordable price. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just like, okay, we try this one because we always eat a uh, Korean barbecue in Hongdae. Yeah. We try so many stores and restaurants over there mm. and they they are really affordable. Yeah. So we thought that it's gonna be the same thing, you know? Sure. So that's why we went in. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'll say, um, we, we kind of, I mentioned it in the video, um, but it was actually a red flag that nobody else was in this restaurant. It was pretty empty, you can see. Yeah, so I would say go to places that are more crowded actually yeah. it was you know really in the middle of the pandemic so it, it looked good to us because yeah. there weren't a lot of people in there but um, yeah go to places with more people because there's a reason nobody was at this place uh, the advertisements outside I don't want to say they weren't true but mm. that's not what stuff cost in there mm. um, you maybe would have had to have mentioned I saw your sign outside for this specific item and I want that specific item but when you looked at the menu, that's not what it was. Um, yeah. Yeah. And on top of that, they took away um, our tray. So they were like, do you want more meat? And they tried to sell us on more meat, which mm. no other restaurant had done. Um, and I've eaten at a lot of Korean barbecue places in Korea. Mm. Um, and yeah. They, as soon as we said, maybe just give us a minute, we're kind of in the middle of eating our food. Yeah. They just took away the tray, took away the coal, 
we were like, okay. And immediately, mm. it, it makes us feel like we are not no more welcome, you know. Yeah. Yes, that's the first time we experienced such bad service, I yeah. will say. I'm sorry. Yeah. But it's very uncomfortable. Yeah, another uncomfortable thing, and then I'll kind of lay off this restaurant, uh, is it was in the middle of a pandemic, and this is the only place that's done this. So maybe this is like a good restaurant for beginners, but Yajing and I are not beginners to Korean barbecue in Korea. They were literally grabbing the lettuce um, wraps and by their hands with their own hands, right? Mm -hmm. And then putting rice in it, and then putting the meat in it, and mm -hmm. then putting the samjang in it. Yeah. And then wrapping it up and handing it to us. Yeah. And her and I were just like, "What? Like we can cook this on our own? We can wrap up this on our own?" Yeah. Um, but they really wanted to control everything. Um, yeah, she does like beginner, like you yeah. don't know how to grill. And they do understand English better than Hongdae's That's true. restaurants. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not saying just be careful, but it's probably it's easier for the international tourists mm. to have food over there. But you do need to be careful because in Hongdae, the other res barbecue restaurants we have, they don't sell you by grants, mm -hmm. and this place by grants, so yeah, yeah, little yeah. fishy. Absolutely, just be careful out there, and uh, know that yeah, they they were nice, but they were pretty pushy, and I hate giving a bad review on a restaurant. Um, the yeah. food was good, but the irony is, if they just let us cook it on our own and eat at our own pace and wrap our own food by ourselves, yeah, we actually would have spent a lot more money there and, and time. And a lot of time, yeah, yeah, because they serve for you too specific, you know? Yeah. And you have to keep eating with mm. the rest of them. Yeah. Rest of. So, it's kind of, yeah, in rush. Yeah, it was definitely awkward. And we had already been in Korea like a month at this point, so... Yeah. yeah, we know how, a little bit how the thing works, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, I think with that, um, pretty interesting video. What would you have done in that situation? Would you have just kind of sat there and let them wrap your food for you and hand it to you, bare hands, mind you, during the middle of the pandemic? Um, I mean, we did, uh, but we got out of there as soon as we could. Mm. But I would love to hear what you would have done in that situation. It was definitely an awkward one. Mm. Um, and then also, yeah, just love to hear your thoughts on the video in general. Mm. Have you experienced any kind of shopping where you went to a foreign country thinking you would find something or a lot of something, and then you were shocked to find out you couldn't find it, nowhere sold it, actually wasn't popular at all in that country. Um, I'd be curious about that too. Yeah, share your experience with us and we'd love to read it. Yeah, and with that, uh, if you like the video today, uh, please uh, hit the like and subscribe button down below. It would certainly go a long way. Um, but yeah, I think we have more for you here next week from South Korea. So until then, I hope you have a wonderful day. We will see you next time. Thanks everyone. <laughs>